in the 20th, 2020, India will be the first country can lead the whole globe. Not only leaders are laboring hard, even every individual, they are causes of their laboring. You know, day and night in the private sectors, you see those are competing in their mind, how they are competing. So competition, this is the age of competition. One will know the art how to compete. If you are competing then, naturally, the country will be grown up. The country, particularly the leader who know the art how to lead, is called leader. Here every individual is a leader, like village leader, because they are wrestling, they are forcing, they are running, they are progressing. For what? To compete, compete. This is the age of competition, the age of advertisement, the age of growing up for the development. So the way your leaders are laboring hard, the way the industry is also killing all his time and energy to promote his own industry, his industrious growing the industry and the media people, they are like, they are exhibiting their art, they are selling their news with different channels and also every day the bureaucrats, the crazy of a guru, laboring hard, straining their family attend the official works and concern for proper education. Likewise, you know, all these creative artists, poets, writers, authors, you go to the market the way they are authoring. You go to see how the creative works is translated into various languages. So every day, every individual and the council, personality that they are possessing, not for their own achievement, they are trying the behind the achievement of their own periphery. Not only they are moving within their own periphery, they are promoting as a nation, as a whole. When the village is promoted, naturally, the city will be promoted. When the city will be promoted, naturally, the state will be promoted. When the state will be promoted, naturally, the nation will be promoted. Now, in every corner of the country, not cornering their so much of energy themselves in various activities. So this type of sacrificing nature, automatic, creative, havoc outside of the country. Because of, you know, we have more knowledgeable CS, not only the CS, most talented philanthropists agronomist and also that we, possess, we are possessing, they are possessing the talented that they are maintaining their career with certain achievement they do achieve presently it may as a whole lead to the nation to grow, grow, grow. That's why we are growing. So I think if this type of uh, nationwide movement that we move will continue long run, this effect may be mobilizing global wide defect. You know, outside the country, 
useless talented Indians. Nowadays, you go through the media people and you can see how they are exhibiting their talent, their knowledge. I have that jubilance, the jubilance, exhibiting the jubilance also. By that I can think today they are more productive, more innovative, more upsizing the idea global wise, may create an international brotherhood for world peace. Therefore, I can gravely tell, truthfully speaking, that the day will come. India will be number one in the 20th century because of the that the talented people that we have are serving in other nations. So they may be serving us, the Indians, because the soil may be calling them, alarming in them. It is a high time to have a better union with knowledge, with spirit, with jubilancy, with talent. By that, congregation of this high-minded action and activities may assert the country to take lead global ways. In the globe, oh, India would be number one in 20th century, surely, positively, I can announce.